all right you are welcome again today we want to talk about variable separation with condition that is when we are solving differential equation using the method of variable separation and we have some certain conditions to consider so we are going to talk about two conditions here and please i want you to watch this video to the end because the first condition is entirely different from the second condition so the method and the procedure to follow in solving these conditions are not the same okay please pay attention let's learn together okay now let's go the first condition is when you have uh, a differential equation whereby you can separate these variables in the form of f of y dy equal to q of x dx and in the process y is absent in the process y is absent so we said that the first condition is if the variable y is absent if the variable y is absent and we want to separate it you know normally on a normal we want to separate it to be in form of f of y dy equal to q of x dx and now y is absent so it's going to be deduced to dy is equal to q of x dx okay so where y is absent we are going to write it this way dy is equal to q of x dx so the solution is obtained by integrating both sides okay that means we're going to have y is equal to the integral of q of x dx okay good now let's take a look at some examples for you to understand exactly what i'm talking about now let's take a look at this solve the following differential equation number one dy dx is equal to exponential x plus sine x and then number two dy dx is equal to 10x raised to power 4 now let's go solution number one we see that we have dy dx is equal to exponential x plus sine x in this case y is absent in this case y is absent now let's go uh, let's make dy the subject for us to make dy the subject that means we are going to multiply both sides by dx so multiplying both sides by dx we're going to have dy dx multiplied by dx is equal to exponential x plus sine x in bracket multiplied by dx okay so here dx in the left hand side is going to be cancelled okay so after this we're going to have dy is equal to exponential x plus sine x dx so this is what we have right good now from this place we can integrate both sides when we integrate both sides we have the integral of dy is equal to the integral of exponential x plus sin x in bracket dx okay so here the left hand side is going to give us y is equal to in the right hand side the integral of exponential x with respect to x is going to give us exponential x and then the integral of sine x is going to give us minus cos x you get it now in bracket we have plus c so the solution to the differential equation dy dx is equal to exponential x plus sine x is giving us y is equal to exponential x minus cos x in bracket plus c is that clear yes now let's take the second example the second example we have dy all over dx is equal to 10 x raised to power 4 you get it so in this case we also see that y is absent okay so for this particular one we're going to make dy the subject so for us to make dy the subject that means we multiply both sides by dx so multiplying both sides by dx we're going to have dy is equal to 10x raised to power 4 dx all right so let's go further and integrate both sides 
we're going to have the integral of dy is equal to the integral of 10x raised to power 4 dx. In the left hand side, we're going to have y equal to, in the right hand side, we're going to have 10x raised to power 5 all over 5. Then we have plus c. Then we'll say 10 divided by 5 is going to give us 2. So here we have y is equal to 2x raised to the power 5 plus c. Is that clear? Good. So the solution to the ordinary differential equation dy over dx equal to 10x raised to the power 4 is giving us y is equal to 2x raised to the power 5 plus c. Is that clear? Yes. Now let's take a look at the second condition. What do the second condition say? It says if the variable x is absent, how are we going to do it? You get it? Now you know in variable separation we say if the ordinary differential can be written as f of y dy equal to q of x dx. Okay, so and then in this case, if x is absent so this equation f of y dy equal to q of x dx will be deduced to f of y dx equal to dy hello so instead of writing f of y dy equal to q of x dx where we have x absent is going to we are going to write it like this f of y dx equal to dy okay so and then when we have f of y dx equal to dy we are going to make dx the subject from here we're going to make dx the subject so for us to make dx the subject we're going to divide both sides by f of y okay we divide both sides by f of y so here we have f of y dx divided by f of y equal to dy all over f of y all right good in the left hand side f of y we cancel f of y in the denominator right we're going to be left with dx equal to uh here we have dy all over f of y so writing this properly we're going to say that we have dx is equal to one all over f of y dy is that clear yes now here we say that the solution is obtained by integrating both sides when we succeed in writing dx is equal to 1 all over f of y dy you get it right okay you know please i don't want you to be confused so integrate both are going to have x is equal to the integral of 1 all over f of y dy okay so after integrating both sides you make y the subject now let's take examples so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So actually it's not difficult and it's not hard. Okay. Now let's take a look at these questions. Solve the following differential equations. Number one, dy dx is equal to tan y. And then number two, dy dx minus y all over a is equal to zero. Now let's take them one after the other. Number one, we have dy dx is equal to tan y. In this case, we see clearly that x is practically absent. Okay? So here, we want to make dx the subject. And for us to make dx the subject, let's first of all multiply both sides by dx. So we we'll multiply both sides by dx. We're going to have dy is equal to tan of y dx. Okay, so let's from here now we can uh, divide both sides by tan y so that the x will stand alone. So we we'll do so, we're going to have dy all over tan y is equal to dx. Okay, so which is the same thing as saying dx is equal to dy all over tan y. So and then it also can be written as dx is equal to 1 all over tan y dx. You get it right it's true so from here we can integrate both sides so when you integrate both sides, are going to give us the integral of dx is equal to the integral of one all over tan y dx so the left hand side is going to give us x is equal to 
in the right hand side when we integrate 1 all over tan y it's going to give us ln sine y plus c okay now we want to make y the subject because definitely we must make the solution the y to be the subject okay good so here let's take c to the other side when we take c to the other side going to give us x minus c right good and then it can be written as lean sine y is equal to x minus c so here now let's take the natural log on both sides so the natural log that is exponential lean sine y in the left hand side and in the right hand side we're going to have exponential x minus c okay good so you know we've said it before in the law we, we say that when we have something like exponential lean x the answer is equal to x right the exponential we cancel the lean is that true so here we have exponential lean sine y so this exponential will cancel lean are going to be left with sine y equal to and then this place that we have exponential x minus c is still the same thing as saying exponential x times exponential minus c okay so when you apply the law of indices it's going to bring these together so let's make y the subject so we divide both sides by sine so that this sign will go right so we're going to have sine y all over sine is equal to exponential x times exponential minus c all over sine right so here we're going to have y is equal to sine inverse of we have exponential x times exponential minus c you get it right good from this place we can say let uh, this exponential minus c be called the letter a so we say let a equal to exponential minus c so if we call exponential minus c letter a now and replace it we are going to have y is equal to sine inverse of a exponential x is that true so therefore the solution to the ordinary differential equation dy over dx equal to tan y where x is absent the answer is y is equal to sine inverse of a exponential x all right good now let's go further and solve the last example which is dy dx minus y all over a equal to zero okay please pay attention let's go in this case x is absent right good from this place where we have dy dx minus y all over a equal to zero let's take minus y all over a to the other side so and here we know that it is negative so crossing it will turn to positive so that means we're going to have dy dx is equal to y all over a all right from this place here we can cross multiply so when we cross multiply we're going to have a dy is equal to y dx a dy is equal to y dx and then we want to make dx the subject so for us to make dx the subject we divide both sides by y so that dx will stand alone so we're going to have a dy divided by y is equal to y dx divided by y so in the right hand side y in the numerator we cancel y in the denominator so therefore we're going to have dx is equal to a all over y dy is that true yes now let's go further and integrate both sides when we integrate both sides we're going to have the integral of dx is equal to the integral of a all over y dy so we count or we look at this a as a constant so we pass it out when we pass it outside we're going to have a the integral of one all over y is that true dy now let's go so the in the left hand side we're going to have x is equal to a the integral of one all over y dy right good 
let's integrate this one all over y dy so we integrate one all over y dy is going to give us ln y so here we have x is equal to a ln y plus c after integrating we have x is equal to a ln y plus c let's make y the subject so making y the subject we're going to take c to the other side so when we take c to the other side it's going to give us x minus c so here we have a ln y is equal to x minus c so let's divide both sides by a when we divide both sides by a we're going to have a ln y divided by a is equal to x minus c divided by a so here we're going to have ln y is equal to x minus c all over a okay so taking the natural log on both sides we're going to have exponential ln y is equal to exponential x minus c all over a so in the left hand side exponential will cancel the ln we're going to have y is equal to exponential x minus c all over a so looking at this right hand side in the bracket we will have x minus c all over a it can be written as x all over a minus c all over a when you bring these together it's going to give you as the above x minus c all over a okay good now still in the right hand side where we have exponential in bracket uh, x all over a minus c all over a is still the same thing as saying exponential x all over a times exponential minus c all over a you get it right now here we have y is equal to exponential x all over a times exponential minus c all over a now this last time let's call it a letter and then let's use letter a so we can simply say let a equal to exponential minus c all over a so in the place of this exponential minus c all over a we replace it with a right capital letter a so when we replace it that means we're going to have y is equal to a exponential x all over a so therefore this is the final solution to the ordinary differential equation dy dx minus y all over a equal to zero so the answer is y is equal to a exponential x all over a please let's take more example this is just the separation of variable with condition which have treated the true condition when x is absent and when y is absent all right please let's learn together let's keep practicing please if you have not subscribed subscribe and help us and share our videos make sure you click the like button thank you see you next time